guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the season 2 finale of Beastars. Honestly, I've been wondering about what the heck is gonna happen in this episode. I think, what, ever since I watched episode 11 and how it ended in Ish, because the way the final, the second to last episode ends, I'm like, I need more. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm super excited to see how this ends, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Um, it's a little weird that we're showing the, oh, I mean, the ending first, I mean, mm, yeah, we watched the episode, final thoughts, <laughs> but I think there's a reason why, because they're just showing it from their perspective in it one last time. I just want to know who that shot, what happened at all. The tail. The taste of rebellion? Interesting thing for a finale. <clears throat> Wait, wait! Okay. Oh, hell no. Nah. See what I tell you. <gasps> Okay, back to these two. So, um, you know, Winnie the Pooh, did you actually truly kill, no, not Kirito, did you kill Aaron from Attack on Titan, sir? Did you kill Choto Todoroki? The best boy. Oh, no, he's okay. Oh, oh thank God. Oh. 
Ja. Oh oh. Is it because you know he went vegan? Yeah, probably, probably, yeah. It's a friendship? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. Sir, what the hell is going on? Exactly, so you can't say that! You ruined the friendship! Oh, oh God. Nope, 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 nope. Please don't do this. Don't do this to my precious baby boy. A dog eat dog world, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we got time. You want to get something to eat? Some Chinese? You want some sushi? Some chicken. We got time. Which is true. And because, of course, Tim would say that because his last little bit of life. Mm-hmm. You would have possibly killed Haru. You know, stop it. Get some help.
true, but you don't have to do that. You can be better than this. Damn. Well, sir, I mean, honestly, Pina, you a man hoe. You a man whore. He is a man whore. I'm sorry. Like, I, you know what? I, I got a crush on him, too. But, shit. <laughs> he like Gojo Sensei. It's just fucked up that Ibuki's not dead. I didn't want him to die in the way he had wanted. I wanted him to. Not like that. I thought it would be more of, you know, Louise killing him. And Louise, you know, getting, having be traumatized over that shit. It's over a bookie. <laughs> because you're sad and over a bookie. I honestly think that if Ibuki didn't get shot, I don't think he would have, you know, truly ate him. I think they would have still had a really good relationship, even the fact is that, you know, Louise wouldn't have been a boss anymore, you know. Eh? 
Sir? No. 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 Uh uh. We really doing this shit? Are we serious? No! Also, if you do it, I don't want to see it. Oh. Hold on. Can I say something? Is it weird that that kind of sounded sexual? I'm going to eat your foot because you wanted me to. That sounds a little wrong. <laughs> oh, God, please no. Oh fuck, you actually did it. He actually fucking ate his foot! Yep, that also sounds wrong. Look how big he is! What the? Did you? <laughs> Sir? Like, what the fuck? Oh. I mean, because now you can't run, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, unlike you. I don't think he's dead dead. I think he's just knocked out. Huh? Happy New Year. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. We need to get him to the hospital. Please. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in a way, you a new person. Shit, the cops coming. How the hell are you going to explain this situation then? Okay. Let's go ahead and do this now. Final thoughts. Oh, wait. No. Shut up. Shut up. Of course. Okay, all right. Final thoughts on this second season. Honestly, I think I liked it a little bit more than season two. The, you know, the mystery of how season one ended, wondering still, who the fuck ate Tim? Something kind of told me, I was like, if this show gets another season, maybe we won't get the answers that I really want of who ate Tim. But I am glad that, you know, this was really part two of, yeah, who the fuck ate Tim? Um... Still having Ibuki died is still fucked up because I didn't want him to go out getting shot. Even though no matter what, he still would have gone out going shot, uh, getting killed and shot and stuff. But I thought it would have, as I said, I thought it would have been Louise being the one and not, you know, someone from the gang killing him because, of course, the promise that they made to each other. Because if Louise was the one who shot him like he did with the first boss um, at the end of season one, I think it would have truly traumatized him even more because of the fact is that's your friend. And he's now not looking at you as a friend. He's looking at you as food and such. Then if this show would have got a season three, which who knows still possibly could. But honestly, I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe in a couple of years from now, possibly. Um... It would have been a lot of, you know, PTSD for Louise coming to terms with the fact is that, yes, he killed someone, especially someone who he truly cared about. It's different when it when it is like a, a enemy versus a friend and such. And so I would have liked to seen that if we would have possibly gone that way. But of course, like the manga ain't doing that ish as well, because, you know, probably I don't know, because I read the manga. But um, 
it, it makes you want to know, like, what the heck is happening next for these characters. I mean, yeah, hearing Louise say, uh, not Louise, Legacy saying he's dropping out of school. Where are you going to go now? What are you going to do for work since you're now dropping out? I mean, yeah, you got a criminal record and shit. Um, how is your relationship with Haru going to be? How is your relationship with all the rest of your friends, Jack and everyone else? Um, Louise, everybody, how is that going to do and work for him? What is he going to get into next? I mean, he's going to be hanging out with Mr. Panda sometimes, whatever. Um, but yeah, this season was really good. I love like the high stakes that we got from this season. There never really felt like a low point, honestly, because I was, uh, I don't know why from, for the death of me, like there was a point in time where I was thinking, what if this goes completely different and this season is not as good as last season? But I, I think it honestly really was. This season was really top notch and what it had to do. Pina, he was a breath, of, a breath of fresh air. I mean, yes, having freaking Shoto Todoroki, freaking Aaron, my husband, oh, thank you, God. <laughs> having, um his VA in this show was very interesting. I mean, he played a manho. He a man whore. He is a man whore. Like I said, he he is a animal version of Gojo Sensei. I'm sorry because even though yeah, I'm in love with him just as much as every other girl who probably was watching this show and he's like, "Ah, Pina!" Ah! and shit. Um <laughs> I was like that too, but in my head <laughs> But, I mean, like, seriously, I would have loved to see a little more backstory on him, something, because I feel like he was just here for plot. And I get that, but it's like everybody still who is here for plot needs that relative backstory. Yes, our relative villain, he got that backstory. And I think, honestly, like I said, you know, just like... It, it, it was like watching, you know, how to raise a murderer, da, 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 how to catch a murderer, da, 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 any of those crime shows. That's what it really felt like. I'm just watching his episode and then almost the season overall. But there were like a tons of different things. Everything about this season was just like, mwah, like, ugh. And I'm sad that it's over because, ugh, <laughs> it's just going to feel weird for the next couple of weeks because like, uh, it feels like that with all my shows, and I hate the fact that it, it it's done, and we don't know if it's going to get something. I hope it does, truly, because I feel like there is more to this story. And I want to see how Haru and Legacy story ends, if they're going to be together by the end of this entire series or not. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards Season 2 of V-Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, mm, sometime next week for the start of spring anime or anything else that comes out. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.